through this one more time. <sighs> We've been over it like a million times, Twilight. We found all six keys, defeated T-Rex, and got this sweet castle. End of story. Yes, but why? I don't know, Sugar Cube. Maybe it's just your new house, and there ain't nothing more to it than that. I must say, speaking strictly on aesthetics, there really doesn't need to be more to it. It's all simply divine. I agree with Twilight. And Rarity, and Applejack, and Rainbow Dash, and Pinkie Pie. Oh, and probably Spike. As Princess, I've been chosen to spread the magic of friendship across Equestria. So why would the Tree of Harmony want us to sit in a castle in Ponyville? It doesn't make any sense. Why are our cutie marks over there? I don't know, but it seems like the map wants us to find out. The tree, the chest, this castle, and now the map. How can we not follow it? You know what? There's a ton of room for dangerous adventure along that route. Count me in. Ah, oh, shoot. I reckon you're right. Well, I was planning on organizing my baking sheets, but okay. <sighs> Very well. Maybe I'll just stay here with Spike. Awesome! Me and Big Mac have a huge weekend ahead of us talking hoofball and, and trading hoofball cards and arguing about hoofball stats. Uh, on second thought, maybe I'd better go with them in case they need me. Looks like it's time for a road trip. Well, suit yourself. But he's got a Hawk Fetlock rookie card I plan to sweet talk right into these hot little claws. <laughs> sent us here. We shouldn't just walk right in. It could be dangerous. Yes! Stay behind me, every pony. I'm on it. Careful, Pinky! flourishes or any architectural flourishes I think it's lovely I don't like it I don't like it one bit I know smiles and those smiles 
They're just not right. Forget the smiles. Look at the cutie marks. Okay, that's weird. An entire village with the same cutie mark? How can that be? I bet there's some sort of horrific monster behind it. What makes you say that? Because fighting a horrific monster would be super awesome. I reckon we ought to just head into town and talk to some locals. Find out what's going on. Great idea, AJ. Let's go. Those smiles are bad news. Welcome. 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 This must be the most pleasant place in Equestria. Welcome! <laughs> uh, thanks a lot, Map. Welcome! Pardon my forwardness, but are you an alicorn? <laughs> that there's the Princess of Friendship. Well, you've certainly come to the right place for friendship. What brings you to town? We're not entirely sure. I see. Well, all are welcome here in our little village. My name is Double Diamond, and this is Party Favor. Howdy, Double Diamond. I'm Applejack, and this here's Pinkie Pie, Fluttershy, Rarity, Rainbow Dash, and Twilight Sparkle. And you all have your own unique cutie marks. If you don't mind, has there been any sort of trouble here lately? Trouble? Why, I don't think we've ever had trouble in our little village. It's true. You'll see. <laughs> Perhaps you'd care to speak to our founder, Starlight Glimmer. I wish every pony in Equestria was as friendly as these ponies are. I've got my eye on them. Something's rotten in... whatever the name of this village is that we're in right now. Starlight, we have some new visitors. Ready to fight. We don't know what's gonna come through that door. Welcome! I'm so pleased to have you here. Oh. This is Applejack, Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, Rarity, Rainbow Dash, and Twilight Sparkle. Forgive my bluntness, but I'm assuming it's Princess Twilight Sparkle? We don't get many alicorns around here. Yes, but Twilight is fine. So, how did you hear of our little village? It's kind of a long story. Let's just say we found it on a map. Technically, it's a tree chest castle map. Well, however you found us, we're happy to have you. We're happy to have any pony who wants to experience true friendship for the first time. Say what? Oh, indeed. That's what's so unique about our village, you see. Around here, we don't flaunt our special talents because we don't have any special talents to flaunt. Is that why you all have those cutie marks? Perhaps it would be easier to understand if I gave you a tour of the village. Heads high, ponies! Marching proud! All together now, every one of you! It's so grand in our town, we're always filled with cheer. We never have to look around to know that we're all here. In our town, in our town, we don't have to wait to find out that our destiny is just to emulate. Let's see those big, happy smiles. Life is a smile in our town, our cutie Do 
you ever wonder why when you think your talent's special you don't see eye to eye there's just too many differences that lead to disarray but when you learn to act as one it's like a holiday in our town in our town we don't complicate when you Right? Give up our cutie marks? No way! Rainbow Dash, don't be so rude. I don't think we should judge them. They all seem perfectly happy with their choice. Don't believe their smiles, Fluttershy. I'm sorry, I guess we're just a little confused by all of this. We have no judgments here in our village. Each of us was confused once as well, blinded by the false promise of our cutie marks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is she for real? When we were sent to this village, we assumed it was to help in some way. But, well, it doesn't seem like you need any help. Have you considered, perhaps, that you might have been sent here so we could help you? After all, no pony has ever come to our village and wanted to leave. Why should you be any different? But that is entirely your choice. Please, enjoy our little corner of Equestria. We're all quite fond of it. No doubt you will be as well. Double Diamond, please help our guests with whatever they might need. Of course. Well, this will certainly provide a boost to our little community. When the rest of Equestria sees that a princess gave up her cutie mark to join us, they'll finally understand what we're trying to accomplish. Welcome. 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 A cutie mark is a representation of a pony's unique talents and skills. How is it possible <gasps> to... What in the name of Equestria is that? Welcome. Care to sample some local fashion? We've got cloaks this month. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, perhaps uh, another time, good sir. Thank you. No wonder no pony's wearing anything. Really, girls, they may do things a bit differently than we're used to, but that's no reason to be rude. No, the reason to be rude is that they all keep staring at us. Need something? Uh, no. We're good. Fluttershy's right. If we're gonna get to the bottom of why the map sent us here, we'll need the help of these ponies. I think we ran off to the end of Equestria before we even knew what that map was. If we were at the end of Equestria, we'd be sitting on a big A. <laughs> get it? Oh, please, Miss Pie. This is hardly the time for jokes. We've come all this way, and for what? Maybe you're right. But we're here now, and it sure feels like something's wrong. That and two bits will get you a cup of cider. Is this a bad time? We shouldn't be bickering like this in front of our new friends. Really, Applejack, you're almost as bad as Rainbow Dash. Don't drag me into this! Is your friendship ending? Are you crazy? We'd never let a disagreement get in the way of food! Okay, well, my name is Sugar Bell. What can I bring you? We have muffins. Then I guess we'll take six muffins. Make that twelve! What? I'm hungry! Come on, girls. We've got to stick together. It doesn't matter what happened before. We're here now. I guess you're right. And the sooner we figure out why, the sooner we can go home. Forgive me for overhearing, but just a moment ago you were disagreeing. And now it sounds like you're agreeing. Uh-huh. Well, you had such differing opinions and cutie marks. We have differing opinions all the time, darling. But you look like you're friends. We are friends. A simple disagreement wouldn't change that. I'm sorry. I'm just having a hard time understanding. Different talents lead to different opinions, which lead to bitterness and misery. 
So, why aren't you bitter and... <coughs> It's all right. I know I'm not a very good baker. At least, I'm not any better than any pony else in the village. Well, I hope you enjoy our little village. <laughs> Come inside before you go. Meet me downstairs. Okay, that was weird too. Let's all sit here and eat these muffins and act normal. I think we're being watched. You think? No, not like that. I mean, some pony here doesn't want us talking to Sugar Bell. I got an idea. But you gotta eat all them muffins, Pinky. Me? Why me? You got a stronger stomach than any of us. And that filly in there might be our best chance at finding out what in the hay is going on around here. Pinkie Pie. We best go inside and get some more. Nice work, Pinkie. <laughs> I've accidentally eaten cardboard tastier than that. Hello? Sugar Bell? Thank you for coming. Why did you want us to come down here? So no pony could see what's about to happen. The princess of friendship? Do you know Princess Celestia? I love your cutie mark. How can you be friends with different cutie marks? Don't you end up hating each other? Oh, look at this one. This one's great, too. I'd love to have my special talent back, even just for a day. Make something besides those disgusting muffins. So what's stopping? Go get your cutie marks back. Daydreaming is one thing, but you mean actually having it put back on? That seems extreme. I'm not sure Starlight would like that. She wants us all to be happy in our sameness. How do you take some pony's cutie mark anyway? The cutie unmarking is a beautiful experience. Starlight uses the staff of sameness to magically take them away and replace them with these. But no pony should keep you from your cutie mark. It represents such an essential part of who you are. Oh, we're not kept from them. They're in the vault up in the caves. We can visit them anytime we like to remind us of the heartache of a life with special talents. Can we visit this cave? I'm delighted you're interested in our Cutie Mark vault. We hope someday every pony in Equestria will make a pilgrimage here to our little village to have theirs removed too. And our message of purpose. This must be the reason we're here. Pilgrimage? No, oh, helping those ponies get their Cutie Marks back. Oh, are you sure, Twilight? Maybe they missed them a little, but even they didn't seem all that unhappy. Then why did they want to meet us in secret? And why did they ask us not to tell Starlight who told us about the vault? Something's not right. Just through here! Behold! Our Cutie Mark Vault! I've never seen anything like it. And here is the staff of sameness. It was one of the great Mage Meadowbrook's nine enchanted items. We are incredibly fortunate to have it here. This is the tool that allows us to free ourselves from our marks. I'm curious, how did the subject of the vault come up? Oh, some ponies were telling us how much they missed their key marks and Pinky! Oops! <gasps> were they? Well, it seems you inspire all sorts of free thinking, don't you? Oh, <laughs> but we, we certainly didn't intend to cause any disruptions to your charming little... Good. Let's just make sure of that, shall we? It's a trap!
don't blame you for what you tried to do here today. You've spent your whole lives thinking those marks are a good thing. Give them back! Well, now you can spend the rest of your lives here, with us. And we'll teach you just how much better life can be without your cutie marks. I've been chosen to spread the magic of friendship across Equestria. So why would the Tree of Harmony want us to sit in a castle in Ponyville? This is incredible! It's got all of Equestria! Why are our cutie marks over there? Seems like the map wants us to find out. An entire village with the same cutie mark? Welcome! This must be the most pleasant place in Equestria. I'm delighted you're interested in our cutie mark vault. It's a trap! Without your cutie marks. My little pony, my little pony. from your cutie mark. Choose a quality as your special talent. Hey, this is pretty good. Uh, we've got to find a way out of here. I can't take much more of that voice. Oh, this is horrible. <laughs> there, there, Rarity. It's not so bad. Yes, it is. Look at those drapes. I have no idea if they're tacky or not. Well, I think they're nice. So do I! <laughs> oh, thank goodness! Can you help us, little birdie? Go on now, fly away and get us help. Oh, even tweets don't make sense anymore. <laughs> This door shut tighter than a summer of, of piglets and shoot. I can't even make countryisms no more. I don't know. Maybe it'll be super fun to be all the same. Sort of. More pleasant than fun, I guess. Something odd about that staff. I haven't studied Eastern Unicorns as much as I should have, but I'm pretty sure Meadowbrook only had eight magical items, not nine. And I don't remember any of them being a staff. Well, it looks like you'll have plenty of time to try to think about it. We can get out. <sighs> Forget it, Twilight. This door is not opening. And I'm afraid the windows are much too small for escape. But there is a third way. Of course! Eventually, the wind and weather will wear down the walls until they start to crumble. Then what all we have to do is wait for a big enough hole to form and we can just walk out! It's the perfect plan! I guess. We don't actually have to escape. They'll just let us out when they think we've accepted their philosophy. But they're never gonna believe we switched over in just one night. There's one of us they might believe. Uh, me? You've been saying 
how great this place is since we got here. Well, that's because every pony is so nice and their village is so pretty and and Oh, you're right. They probably would believe me. I hate to lie to them. They've been so welcoming and friendly. Aside from locking us in here and trying to brainwash us into abandoning the things that make us special. Okay, I'll do it. I mean, cool. But what do I do once I'm out? You've got to find a way to get our cutie marks back. Oh, good morning. I trust you had a pleasant night. This way, please. There are some friends who would like to see you. Gather round, friends! Gather round! We've come to ask if any of you are ready to join us. There are so many friends to be made once you realize you don't need your cutie marks or the talents that come with them. We have a welcome ceremony for new friends. The whole village joins together to build you your own cottage. Not interested. You may have them now, but we're going to get our cutie marks back. Y'all don't understand, do you? You can't force no pony to be friends. It don't work like that. Please, join us. We love new friends. It's all right, every pony. This is a perfectly normal part of the equalization process for those who haven't quite seen the light yet. We'll try again tomorrow, once you've had a bit more time to consider our philosophy. I'd like to join. Fluttershy? <laughs> <laughs> How could you? If giving up my cutie mark means I get to stay in this lovely village with these lovely ponies, then I'll do it. We have a new friend, every pony! Oh, oh, well, oh, what oh, oh, now? Now, there's one more order of business. It seems some in our midst might be dissatisfied with the village life. <gasps> Unfortunately, it's all too true, my friends. Will you kindly tell us the names of those friends who so desperately miss their cutie marks that they would sneak around in the shadows talking to strangers about it? Just so we can be sure your intentions are indeed pure. <laughs> I don't know who they were. Um, I'm sorry. I don't know your names and faces yet. Nonsense! Obviously, these ponies must have asked you directly. Kindly point them out. It was me! It was only me. I only wanted it back for a little while. And you're quite certain it was only you? I just wanted to remember what it was like. And no thought to the pain you cause your friends. Such selfishness. I'm sorry, every pony. I never wanted to leave the village. I love all of. What was I thinking? I can't believe I even considered asking for my cutie mark back. Don't worry. Fluttershy will have us out of here in no time. Didn't you see what just happened out there? Your friend has accepted our way. You will all accept our way. It's only a matter of time. This guy's a barrel of laughs. Laughs don't come in barrels. They come from inside you as your body's response to delight. So what are we gonna do while Fluttershy's out there looking for our cutie marks? We have to stay as positive as we can. If Party Favor sees how much we really do like each other, even though we're all different, maybe we can use him to spread our message to the rest of the village. To excel is to fail. Let's just hope they don't convert any of us first. Welcome! Welcome! Welcome. Gosh, you really are the nicest ponies I've ever met. Come, all new friends stay with me until their cottage is completed. Let's get you settled, and then you can enjoy all that our little village has to offer. <coughs> get the cutie marks back. That's 
All you've got to do, Fluttershy, just sneak through the dark up to that spooky old cave with the scary magical staff and get the cutie marks back. Okay, you're doing great. The cave's got to be close now. Excellent work, Double Diamond. Of course, but I don't understand why you wanted me to bring them here. Fluttershy is one of us now. Surely she can be trusted. This one belongs to a princess. It could be very important to our cause. But if Twilight Sparkle becomes our friend, then what do we care about this old cutie mark? I just want to keep them close until everything is settled. You may go, Double Diamond. Oh dear, how am I ever going to get the cutie marks back now? Ow! Oh, Starlight, you clumsy fool! like to say. Oh, a pity. Well, let's try this again tomorrow, shall we? No new friends today, I'm afraid. Wait, I'd like to lock them in. Marvelous, Fluttershy. That's the spirit. Party favor, will you join us, please? I'm sorry, Starlight. I'm sorry, every pony. I've seen the error of my ways. I never want to look at my cutie mark again. It seems there's cause for celebration after all. Hooray! Hooray! They tried to break me. They wouldn't stop talking about how different they are, and that somehow makes their friendship stronger. Such backwards thinking. But I didn't listen. I knew what they were up to, and I didn't listen. Well done, party favor. We welcome you back with open hooves. Um, Starlight, I think we might have one more friend joining us today. <gasps> Is this true? I, I think so, but I just want to be sure. If I agree to leave my cutie mark in the vault, I'll really be happier? Just look around. Equality has given us more happiness than you've ever known. And you wouldn't let me just live here in the village with my old cutie mark? Out of the question! A pony with a different cutie mark in our midst would destroy our entire philosophy! We are all equal here! Oh, and how do you explain this? I knew you couldn't be trusted! Cutie marks were evil. You said special talents led to pain and heartache. They do, don't you see? Look at them! Then why? Why did you take ours and not give up your own? I... I had to, you fools! How could I collect your cutie marks without my magic? But the staff has all the magic we need! The staff is a piece of wood I found in the desert. It's my magic that makes all this possible. You'd all still be living your miserable lives thinking you're better than every pony else if it weren't for my magical abilities. I brought you friendship. I brought you equality. I created harmony! You lied to us! So what? Everything else I said is true. The only way to be happy is if we're all equal. Except for you. Every pony has unique talents and gifts. And when we share them with each other, that's how we... Quiet! You can't have that cutie mark, Starlight. Either we're all equal, or none of us are. Let's get our cutie marks back! Yeah! Come on! Let's 
go get our cutie marks. Our cutie marks aren't in the vault. They're in there. With her. How they like spending the rest of their lives without their precious cutie marks. Matt Starlight. Maybe you can reminisce another time. She's almost to the caves. Feel like an airdrop? Treason's back, too. I studied that spell for years! How can you? I studied magic for years, too. But what I didn't know then was that studying could only take me so far. Each of my friends has taught me something different about myself. It was their unique gifts and passions and personalities that helped bring out the magic inside of me. I never would have learned that I represent the element of magic without these five. And I certainly wouldn't be here to stop you now. Spare me your sentimental nonsense. I gave these ponies real friendships they never could have had otherwise. How do you know that? 
You never even gave us a chance! She's getting away! We'll never find her in there! We just have to hope that when she's had a chance to think it over, she realizes that you all have taught her something. It's you who have taught us something. We all came to this village because we were searching for something missing from our lives. We thought Starlight had given it to us, but now, now it seems it was in front of us all along. It's us. Does that mean you'll stay in the village? It's our home. I'm not going anywhere. This is a chance for all of us to get to know each other again for the very first time. And I finally have a chance to bake something besides terrible muffins. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never get used to that. I think it's divine. Does that mean the map is calling us somewhere else? I have a feeling it means our work here is done. Looks like you were right, Twilight. The map did have a reason for sending us here. We brought real friendship to these here ponies. Guess that's why you're the princess of friendship. But the map didn't send me. It sent us. You're a part of me, all of you. And there's no doubt you're a part of my mission to spread friendship, too. Oh, <laughs> this feels like an ending. It doesn't have to be an ending yet, right? Cause that sugar bell can bake! Maybe we can stay a little while longer. Come on! <laughs> <laughs>